Six, a spike in COVID cases at Calvin. The number of positive tests quadrupling in one week. Now the university is enforcing enhanced social distancing and shutting down common areas for two weeks. News 8's Heather Walker is live on campus for us tonight. Heather. Yeah, it's unclear if that new variant is causing that spike here. The university does not test for the type of COVID, only positive or negative. But in the meantime, the university says either way, it's important to try to stop this spread before it gets out of control. We're quite concerned about it. Um, it's, it's hard to know exactly what caused it. Calvin University President Michael Leroy says the university randomly tests students for COVID. And in the last week, the number of positive test results quadrupled. Whether it is COVID fatigue or feeling a little uh, tired of being inside because of the cold or um, or you know if if there are other other uh, behaviors it could be a virus variant we're not sure but one of the things we know is when you get on top of this quickly um, the numbers uh, tend to go down and for the next two weeks the campus is enforcing an enhanced social distancing period dining halls are takeout only students told to eat only with their roommates other common areas on campus also closed. Sports are on a case-by-case -case basis depending on the COVID test results. And in-person learning will be up to each professor. The university says their observation is that COVID transmission in the classroom is not a concern because there's social distancing and masks required. This is um, a really hard thing for students. Um, and it's a really hard thing right now to have to do this. I mean, I, we didn't do this lightly. University says it will reassess everything once those two weeks are done. In the meantime, any students caught in violating these new restrictions will uh, face some disciplinary action. So if you're wondering how the students feel, well, some of them not happy about this. Just moments before we went on air, I was given a statement from a couple of students who want to remain anonymous. They're saying that although the university's uh, intentions are good for their well-being, they're saying that these actions will actually hurt them, uh, causing them to have increased isolation um, and uh, inability to engage in their community and with close friends. We'll keep you posted and let you know about any changes here on campus. Reporting from Calvin University, Heather Walker, Newsday.